don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Okay, so if you've been watching the vlogs, you'll have seen that I created this journal cover from an old diary using some papers from a company called Stamperia. Um, it's got a nice kind of padded front to it. Um, it was for 2020 and because 2020 never happened there was nothing in the diary so I gutted the diary altogether, took it out and then recovered the inside and the outside. That's where it said 2020. Um, it also had 2020 up here on the front cover which I've covered over nicely with this lovely kind of steampunky um, paper to make a new journal out of. Now I did say on the vlog that I would probably turn it into a one of those traveller's notebooky kind of things which is what I am going to do. So the first thing that I want to do is to put some eyelets or some holes here in the spine which is why I've got the trusty crocodile out. So this crocodile has been in the family, it's almost an heirloom, um, a good well, I think we bought it originally in about 2008, so we've had it a goodly while. Now then, I don't want to go all the way down, I want to come in uh, about, let's see, put the guide on so it's going to be the same top and bottom. So one, two, three, so three sixteenths is that, he says, trying to Screw it back tight again. I think that's going to be enough. I've not come quite as far as I should have done. Most people don't realise that there are guides on these. Um, yeah, about there is about right. So I can make sure that I get it the same, the top and the bottom. That's as far as it's going to go. So we'll punch into that get rid of what's inside there because it always always jams in and then do the same thing again at the bottom and because we've got the same guide we're going to get it in the same place. There we go. And I'll just clear that out so that it's unobstructed for the next person to use it which is probably going to be me anyway. And then I've got some of these wide eyelets. Um, now these are from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, and again, I've had them for absolutely ages. Um, 3 sixteenths or 5 mils. And I think they're going to look just nice at the top and the bottom there. So all I have to do is... Oh, Ian's been fiddling with my crocodile. Oh, that's why he's been fiddling, because he's managed to get an eyelet jammed. Oh, look at that. He's got it jammed in there. Right, I'm going to have to sort that out. So let me go and sort that out, and then I'll be right back. Okay, managed to get it off. That was what was jammed in the machine. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> so to give that a squeeze and that should be attached on that side and give it a squeeze on there and that should be attached on that side. That's it, job done look. We now have eyelet on top and on bottom. Okay so the thing that always seems to throw people when they're doing these traveller's notebook kind of things is is how to thread your elastic. Now I like it so that I can get a full page size in my traveller's notebook and the only way to do that is if your elastic comes over the top from the outside to the in. So I've cut some elastic so I'm going to feed it through the hole from the inside to the out and then I'm going to tie that into a knot on the inside just creating a little bit of tension 
don't want a huge amount because we don't want to over tighten it well we don't want it to be too tight and have too much of a pull on it that should do it and then if you want you can then jiggle it so that your knot is either towards the bottom or towards the top it really doesn't matter one iota okay so I've cut some pieces of cardstock I've got some Tim Holtz I've got some um, old vintage newspapers dating from 1892 to 1888 to what dates that one 1895 uh, I've got some old maps so we've got Denmark and Iceland there's some Australia we've got um, Norway Sweden Finland and Denmark there and then on that side we've got Netherlands Belgium and Luxembourg on this one that's going to form my central piece so that's going to go through the one that I did that comes from the outside see how you can only see it looped there now so it's nice and neat and tidy and now you see the knot's gone can't see it so that's my central piece so I've got two other little journals here exactly the same as that um, and there's only what like three or four pieces of paper in these but I've used a slightly thicker for the outer just to give it a little bit of stability and I've got another piece of that same elastic that I've pretty much just cut to double the height of the insert and then I've just tied it which makes it just that little bit smaller just that little bit tighter and then I'm going to thread that around my first journal set then I'm going to take the second one open that up at the middle and then thread that through underneath the other side so when you pull it together you've got two on the one elastic and this is where people kind of get confused with it so what we're going to do now is on our third one that one in the middle we're going to insert that one through that side there now, sometimes it's easier if you get somebody to help you because there's nobody in the house at the moment apart from me I'm having a little bit of peace and quiet I'm just going to have to manage and do this right so I've started put it all the way through and I'm just going to pull it down and then push that right the way down to the bottom right the way down to the bottom and then I'm going to get my original middle piece which is there and I'm going to just hold those two down and lift it now what will happen there is the two on either side will kind of slip under and grip and now I've got a traveler's notebook that's got three sections to it they're all loose so I can take out and I can add extras or more at any time whatsoever at any time you see but it also means that I can add to whenever I want to now I could have stapled these together each individual um, signature set to make it more permanent the only stress is there on the edges look and you've still got that nice clean line you could also add extra sets if you want to but I just wanted to keep mine down to the one so I've now got all this space in which to add pictures journaling there's the covers that's the end of the first one look and then the start of the middle one that's got the flowers on those other maps 1895 jewelry advert the maps into the middle back out again and there's the birdie and then we've got the third one more vintage adverts more maps 
more adverts and more maps. So I've got the basis to start off a great little journal whenever I want to. And there's still space to add and there's still space to change. Look at all that. What a great blank canvas to get started with. Just lift that up, lift it up. There we go. So there is the beginnings of that little traveller's notebook made from an old 2020 diary. 2020, the year that never was. So now we've got the cover with our pages and things I need to start adding bits to it. I love that cover. And I'm joined with Ian. I love that cover. <laughs> yes, hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, you do love this colour, this I do. cover. I do. Yes. Um, and the back, of course. Yeah. Because it's all from one sheet. Yes. <laughs> Surprising what you can get from a 12 by 12. Yes. Okay, so I've got my three sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding in some pockets. Now, normally what I would do it was maybe use one of these kind of four inch by four inch envelopes to create pockets. I'll stick that down, stick it on, then put maybe a piece of patterned paper on the front. Yeah. Can't be bothered with that. No. Because I've got to stick it, I've got to then cut something up the right size. Yeah. Stick it down. I've got to find something that's going to match. So, oh. so instead, I've actually gone one step further. Well, I have that. Yeah, so I've actually created a four inch by four inch. Actually, it's slightly bigger, actually. Just slightly, slightly bigger than those pockets there. This is what you call instant gratification. Yes. If you don't want to buy the envelopes, wait for them to be posted and then arrive, all that kind of stuff. You can just get this as a digi download. Oh, yeah. Because I've done this as a set. Ah. Right. So, it's the same kind of thing, um, but as a single sheet. Right. Like that. Ah. So there's no point having any pattern there because that's the, ink. Yeah, that's the bit that you're actually going to be sticking it down with. So it's a foldable one. Yeah, got So it. you've got tabs. That folds on the dotted line there. So all the dots are we fold on the... Yeah. So what that will, it's designed to do is when it is folded, it leaves just that little bit above. That's a nice idea, yeah. And then you tuck it on the inside and glue it so that when it's closed you can't see the white paper. Nice. But you've still got that little bit raised above. Um, and obviously you don't have to fiddle around trying to find punches the right size. Just cut it out. Yeah. So that bit there will fit the one and a half inch circle punch. Or a one, or a one and a half inch yes. circle punch. So what I've got, and I'll show you these on the screen now, there's a set of, of five envelopes with the vintage maps. Oh, I like those. Yeah. So all different ones, including there's um, North America, East Coast, North America, West Coast. There's one of England and Wales, one of Europe, and there's also one showing um, Australia as well. Oh, yes. So there's one for everybody, really. So that's the, the map set. I've also got a set of vintage adverts. I like those. So these just happen to correspond with the advert sheets that I've got in here because they're taken from the same source. Because we have those, don't we, the originals? We, we have the originals of these, but a few years ago we actually had them scanned professionally, didn't we? we so did. we've actually got them forever. So it doesn't matter whether we use up those anyway. So I've got a set of those. I'll show you those on screen now. I like those. Yes. Again, five different ones. Some of these, these adverts, the, the names are hilarious. They are, I know. I tried to find the one that had the Omo on it, mm. just because. Anyway. Um, so there's five of those, and then the other five that I've got... So this is the third set now. The third set are to go with that Apothecary... Oh yes! ephemera set that I did. Yep. Um, but these are Did you download ones. Yes, they're lovely. So these are M.R. Bentley Esquire. Pharmacist. Pharmacist, I know. Um, so there's five of these as well, so there's five different poisons. You've got cyanide, You've got arsenic, there's hemlock. I'll put them on screen now anyway. Um, belladonna, 
and Strichnine. Strichnine, yes. Yeah, Elaine Strichnine. Yes. Um, so those. So what I thought, because I've got three little journaly things here, um, I'll put two in each one. That's a good idea. So, and I'm going to use two of each. So I've got the two poison ones. I've got two adverts, and I've got two maps. One which I've already done. And one needs to be cut out. And one that needs to be cut out. So, that's the next step then. I'm going to cut the rest of these out and then I'll put one. I'll, I'll show you folding and putting one together and then we'll stick them in the journal together. Shall I cut them out for you? You can do if you want. I'll cut and crease them and then you can follow them on camera. Right, well I'm still going to have to wait until you've actually done at least one. Okay. So we'll jump to that and then come back. But thank you. Okay, and we're back. They so, were really easy to cut out. Yes, yeah, so Ian's just cut them all out for me, So, and he's actually scored them as well, down on the dotted lines, which is really, really nice of him. What's funny is you can actually feel the dots when you score them. You can feel the... Is that because we've used a laser printer? Yeah. Ah, right. So, one and a half inch circle punch. So we're just going to nib out the white. Nib? Yes. So if, you're, if you haven't got a circle punch... Get one. <laughs> Then you'll have to do it by hand. Oh, it's perfect. Yes, and that's just gone on the floor. So, <clears throat> while I keep the cyanide one there, would you be an absolute love? Of course I will. And you do with the others? Of course I will. Okay. I won't do I what I did yesterday. I was punching at the table and, and you... a little bit of a paunch. I got it caught within the, the punch. You, you, you pinched your belly, didn't you? Pinched my belly. Bless. Can't be left, can it? He's also made me a cup of coffee, look, isn't he lovely? The only thing that sticks out these days. <laughs> What's that, your belly? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's the template once it's actually been cut out. And of course, you can transfer this to another piece of card to make other pockets if oh, you yeah. want to from other pieces of paper. But, okay, so on the white dotted lines, that's your fold lines. So I'm just going to fold that over there. I'm going to fold the tabs in, like there, like there. Like that, you're having a nice time. Yeah, I'm just a little bit off with one, but I think it'll distress over though. <laughs> I've just. Uh, oh, I'll be fine. Just yeah. There. So, and then there's that bottom dotted line there. So then we'll just fold that over, and then just grab a little bit of a beer and fielder, and then I'll just, as our friend Susie used to say, commit the crease. That's right. We'll just commit the crease. It's like committing a crime, isn't it? And then. When that front folds over, that creates your little envelope pocket, and that's where you stick it down. So, first things first, we'll stick this top tab down first. Now, you can either use glue or you can use double sided tape. I'm just going to use double sided tape. I don't know where this tape came from. It's the finger lift tape you said that doesn't finger lift the other day. No, 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 that's got a white ah. back to it. This one's got that really strong kind of brown back to it if you get my drift is it best to distress them when they're made up it is isn't it uh, i find that i prefer doing these when they're already made up i've just folded that one while listening fantastic yeah. okay so that's the first tab so we'll just take that off it's a really easy finger lift but the other finger lift, it's got the tape, the adhesive in the middle of the tape. Yes. That's that bit there. It's in the middle, then you've got the bit on the end where there isn't any. Whereas this is tape all the way to. Okay, so that's now stuck down. And I want to add some on the side tabs. I think just one piece will do. So I'm just going to run it along there like so. Like I said, if you're if you're a glue girl or boy and you prefer using glue then use the glue if you're off. Join the 20th century then, get <laughs> some tape. Um, you know, use the glue of your preference. Yeah, some people are not good with, with tape, are they? Better no, glue. some people prefer glue, some people prefer tape. I mean I've gone through, um, I've found different glues at different times that work better than other things. Um, back in the day there was a company that made glue called Colour that made a white 
a clear spirit based glue which was fantastic however the actual bottles themselves were horrendous because it used to spill out the top it used to like on its own yeah it used to like siphon out of the top and you'd get it everywhere and I stopped using it then I started buying these things which are white PVA glue in a fine point applicator from our local thingy shop um, but they dry up they actually go solid in the pens yes so you've got to just keep on finding the right glue and then we went through the Elmer's glue which is cool but doesn't work so well on laser printed stuff. Mm, it feels a bit cockly doesn't it? Well it's not just that but it because it's laser ah, it yeah. kind of just forms a, a clear sheen. Anyway so we're talking. That's the first one done so I'm going to just grab some distressing. My, all the others thank you. You. My vintage photo has run out it's now dry as a b -b -b bone so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use gathered twigs. It's very similar isn't it? Yeah pretty much. And then, as with most things, you can grunge and distress to taste to your heart's content as little or as much as you want. They're really effective. A little bit more exciting than just a brown envelope, aren't they? Well, yeah. I mean, this is the reason why I wanted to do them because, you know, I fancy doing so. I'm actually going to put some dirt. Oh, so it's been. It looks like it's been like grubbed in and out for years and years and years and then I'm just going to go around the inside of there. See what I mean? You can just pouch it yeah. and you can get your, your distress foam in there. It would be nice don't you if you made a, made a card or a project you could slide a piece of, a block of chocolate in that poison and give it to somebody for the birthday. Candy bar would go in there. That's a great idea. It. Poison cyanide and put a piece of a chocolate in there. Haha, <laughs> like it, like it a lot. Maybe we'll do that towards Easter. Yeah, but we're not going to poison people, are we? No, just just pretend. Okay. Okay, so that's the poison one. So now I did say that these were four inches by four inches, yeah. but because you're doing the f the the tab flaps, you're not taking up any space inside. The envelope. Oh, you're not, are you? So what you can do, and now this is just a, one of those cabinet cards from my one of my ephemera sets. Campbell Deacon, I love it. Yeah, so that's one of the cabinet card from the Butterfly Bazaar set. I think it was yes, the Butterfly yes. Field Note one. Yeah. And all I've done is stick one of my rogues yes. onto the front of it to create a cabinet card. So it's also a journaling card. Yeah, I know, and that. Just slides straight oh, in. I like that. The head just sticks out the top. Yeah. How cool is that? Um, so you can actually get quite a lot in these pockets. So there's two done. So what we need to do, we need to do the rest. So you've seen me do the one. Go ahead and do all the rest of them and then we'll join you again when they're all done and ready to be stuck into the journal. I don't know, let's have a mouthful of my coffee while we're at it. Okay, so we're back. Now as Ian was putting the tape on one of them, he actually put the tape on the wrong side of there, didn't you? I did. So it was able to peel it off, but you can just see where it's lifted um, the toner off the, the print a little bit. Silly me. But that doesn't matter, because we just distressed it to within an inch of its life. Yes. So, and it just looks, you know, we've got some grubby finger parts, we've got some that are not quite so grubby, so that one's a bit more grubby well than that fingered. one. Well uh, Yes, thank you. So, now that we've done all those, and it didn't take long, like I said, I've got two of each now, so I've got two maps. They make a lovely set. Yeah, and well, there's five in each one. Yeah, but I mean, they, so, you can mix and match the all. Well, yeah, exactly. So you could use the adverts with the poisons, you can use the maps with the poisons. It really doesn't make any difference which ones you mix and match with. Yes. I just think they're really, really cool. So, what we'll do, I think we'll have a, a map and a poison. We'll have an advert and a map. And a poison and a, and a poison and, and an advert. Um, so what we'll do? Let me to hold them. I think I can manage actually. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick them on the front, on the front of the front inside left. pocket. Well, and right. Ah, oh, yeah. And I'm going to use this YooHoo glue, which is a spirit-based glue. And I'm going to put the poison one on first, and I'm just going to stick it. it smells glorious. Yeah. You don't have to have this in one of those. That's what Colal used to smell like. It's a similar sort of thing, except, and again, this is very runny. 
but you've got that wiggle room. Come up just a bit. I think you're off the bottom of the screen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just trying to see if I can get it lined up to make sure that it is actually level. That's the good thing about glue if you use glue, because if you use tape you're stuck instantaneously. Exactly, and using wet glue you've got that wiggle room. Yeah. Um, with this being a spirit based glue as well, and very very inexpensive, mm. I think this tube cost me 99p. Ah, a bargain. It is, um, and available from home bargains in here in the UK, yeah. down the car aisle, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. It's the aisle where they sell all the car fresheners and the the wheel cleaners and that kind of stuff. It's down have, that Hobby Lobby probably have it or something like that. You can get it all over Europe um, and beyond probably. So that was that side. So that's the first one. So we said we put some of this on. Dad buys this stuff in. Um, he buys. You can just blob it on. He does leather work though, doesn't he? He, he does and he, he uses it for his leather work. Um, but he'll go and buy like Ten tubes at any one time. Looks like a glue sniffer. <laughs> it's been, Not physically, it doesn't look like a glue sniffer. He's been accused of worse, believe me. Oh, he has, bless. And one of the I've been able to tell you the story about Grandad and his granddaughter. Oh, yeah. When she was very, very young. When the firstborn grandchild was born, um, mum and dad looked after her while my elder sister went back to work. Yes. And she used to help dad in... He used to go tooling in the shed. That's right. So whenever dad was doing anything in the shed or in the garage or whatever, she'd work with him. She'd go in there and she'd play about with the tools and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So dad would be hammering and, you know, cutting pieces of wood and, and she'd have a piece of wood and some nails and she'd just knock some nails in, just tooling. Yeah. That's what they used to call it. And then one day dad was using some glue and just started singing we're gonna get high 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 that song it was only wood glue it was only wood glue it was only pva or whatever anyway the next time that she went to nursery mm -hmm. um she was asked what she'd been doing the day before and she said glue sniffing with granddad glue sniffing in the shed with granddad so needless to say there was phone calls being made <laughs> um about what's going on but anyway Family stories, eh? Mm -hmm. So that map one goes really well there. That looks cool. Me like you that one. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure, just until it binds. Yeah, just until it grabs. And we'll go to the back page. And then we put the, that was the map, wasn't it? So yes. we said we'd put the advert, advert. See? Nice. Like vintage wallpaper. I haven't distressed any of these. Did we see somewhere that Tim Holtz, Tim, Tim is doing away with his 12 by 12s? Um, he's, he's, he's doing a different size now. I don't know whether he's actually getting rid of completely. I'm sure they've still got loads of stocks left of the papers. 12 by 12s are, are fantastic to use. Um, but the new size papers, he's not going to be doing any 8 by 8s as far as I could gather. Um, he's going for a new size, which is more like that kind of size. That's Co, isn't it? That? Yeah, which we've, we've had this for donkeys. But have a look, I forgot that we had Yeah, that. but it's more that size, so it's more like um, 7 by 9 or something like that. So, okay, so the last two pockets now. So we'll put poison one on that one there. And then we'll put the map on the last one. Would you like me to do that one, please? Just add some blobs of glue. And a couple of cross pieces. I'll do Just remember to put the lid back on afterwards. It's, it's oozes out, it does it? ooze out, it yes. Oozy oozy. There we go. This smell nice. <laughs> okay, so the last one. There you go. Thank you much. And that can go down there. It works really well with it being sort of a junkish journal. Yes. All the different pockets work with everything else. Made up of scraps, really. There's, there's nothing apart from the pockets that I've <coughs> purposely created. Even the paper on the inside was a sheet of that. Um, it was a Stamperia paper. It was. So. They're lovely. There we go. What, the pockets on the yeah, Stamperia the pockets, papers? Pockets are lovely. 
Okay, so you see that could just pop inside. I think that's cracking. Yeah, it's great. I'm going to leave him there actually. Yes. So we've now got on each inside of the outer signatures, we've now got a little pocket that we can use. One other thing that I want to do, um, this again is from that ephemera set, the butterfly yes. field note one. Um, and I want to just add that to the inside front cover. Well, that's nice. Just there. Um, I've already gone around the outside with some distress, but I didn't do the inside because obviously I knew I was going to be gluing it down. So Some glue can be so unpredictable, can't it, on paper? Yes. And with this being a spirit-based one as well... If it's wet glue, as it, in water-based, it goes all cockly. Sometimes it can go cockly, this doesn't. I'm sure it's so, a word. Cockly. Cockly. So I'm going to put that just there on the front. But what I like about it is if it does ooze out, then if you just leave it when it dries and you rub it, oh, yes. it just balls off, if oh, that yeah. is such a word. It is now. So it just goes like, goes like, goes like snot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So that's the first start to my little junkish journal that I've made using that old 2020 diary. So progress has been made. And the window cleaning is by the side of it. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed watching me do that. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And don't forget there is a clickable link in the description area below for all three sets of those pockets. That's it. We'll see you all again next week. And I think the chocolate idea is great with the poison. Yes. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.